I'm Rufus Pollock from the Open Knowledge Foundation. In the last couple of years, we've achieved a huge amount. Um, we've seen large amounts of data opened up, and thanks not just to our efforts, obviously, but to many others. Uh, this year, the Open Government Partnership event uh, saw over 1,000, 1,400 people attend in Brasilia and dozens of countries. Open government data is now sweeping the world. In many other areas, we're seeing great progress. Bibliographic data, where we did, have done quite a bit of work over the last two years. Now, we can see many libraries across the world have been opening up data in science, uh, in the humanities. We're seeing real progress. And so, now, in, at the end of my second year of my fellowship, and I hope, uh, possibly looking towards my third year, I want to build on that. In the first year I talked about bootstrapping the open data ecosystem. In my second year I talked about scaling it. I've been working on tools and services. And I can see that paying off. CCAN is uh, our, our flagship uh, data management system, data portal system, open source, uh, for making it easy for governments and other institutions to publish data has been used from in Brazil, in Buenos Aires, in the Netherlands, in Norway, in the UK. Just last week, the UK government relaunched DataGov UK using CCAN, the newest version. So we've seen huge progress there on open spending and other projects. I talked about my plan for last year. We now have more than 30 countries, up from two, uh, just over a year ago, have got data in there and we're gathering pace. Uh, we were also fortunate enough to receive additional funding from the win as a winner of the Night News Challenge. And we've also been building up the Data Wrangler community with a start on the School of Data this year. So at this point, I'd like to take stock and say, well, the challenge now is not just about having open data, about having open content. That's where we began. Now the challenge is, what will we do with it? How will we use and apply open data directly to make the world better? Because it's never been the case that we just want open data or open information or open knowledge for its own sake. We don't sit there in our counting house at night nice and go, yet another data set, uh, yet another uh, image in the public domain. What we care about is not just the accumulation. Uh, we don't care about that really at all. What we care about is the ends. Open data, open information, open knowledge are a means to an end. That end is improving uh, our lives, improving the world. Uh, through better culture, better research, better governance. And so what I want to be looking at this year is how can we use and apply open data uh, to real world problems, to real world issues? How can we go out and engage with non-technical and non-open data or data-oriented communities, human rights NGOs, um, journalists, um, even scientists, humanities, philosophers, how can we go out and engage with communities, particularly, I would say, in the area of civic information, governance, um, and uh, kind of human rights, and so on, how can we go out and engage with those organizations to find problems and challenges that they have, that they may not even be aware where data or information can be relevant, and take open data and, and, and help use it uh, in building applications and building tools to help them as address their needs. Now in particular, I have three areas I want to explore and work on. So number one is building these kind of applications. I have a particular, you know, there are obviously many, many applications that can be built. And I want to look, uh, you know, I want a particular process here. Uh, I think realistically we're looking at somewhere between four and six specific uh, applications or outcomes or investigations that we do in the next year using open data and information and the tools that we can build. But go out as a kind of a process which is one, uh, find a partner or organization or community uh, who have a challenge, identify the issue, identify a good match with information and open data and then work with them to, to build something and deliver an outcome. And this isn't just to solve those particular problems but also to serve as showcases uh, for ourselves and others of what can be done with this information and, and how to go about this. Complementing that, I I'm really interested in, in taking some of our work, we've already done a lot of work on data tools, but focused on m lightweight microservices around data processing. So built around CCAN and the Data Hub, but really small and lightweight, things that we can build in two to four weeks. Um, data conversion, data cleaning, data merging, uh, data processing, data issues. Um, and then lastly, I want to be working to 
engage the data wrangler community and the civic hacker community and in particular working around the school of data to 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 both do training but also to build up uh, a community of people at the open knowledge foundation elsewhere uh, who have the skills the interest and the motivation to do interesting and important stuff with open data to address real world real world issues and make a real impact that's what i want to do if i get a third year of the shuttleworth fellowship thank you